Imagine destroying a liver tumor without making a single large cut. That's what we do with radio frequency ablation or RFA. Hi, I'm Dr. Sanket Mehta, surgical oncologist from SSO Cancer Center. And I'll tell you what RFA is and when it can be used appropriately in liver cancer treatment. RFA uses a thin needle guided by ultrasound or CT scan to reach the tumor inside the liver. Once in position, it delivers high frequency electrical energy, heating and destroying the tumor cells from the inside out. Think of it like cauterizing a tumor but without open surgery. And here is the key. RFA is not a replacement for surgery. The gold standard is still surgical resection when it is possible and safe for the patient. RFA is a good option only in very specific situations when the tumor is small, ideally under 2 cm, when it's in a suitable location, not near a major blood vessel or the diaphragm because the heat dissipation reduces its effectiveness. When the patient is unfit for surgery due to age, overall health or poor liver function or when surgery would interrupt other ongoing treatments. For example, if the patient is recovering from another major surgery. It's also important to know that RFA is being overused in many cases, especially for tumors that are actually operable. Sometimes this happens because the treating doctor does not specialize in liver surgery or because of misconceptions about the efficacy of RFA. For the right patient in the right setting, RFA is a powerful minimally invasive tool, but it should be used for very specific indications and not as an easy shortcut. Share this with someone who has been told RFA is the best option. They deserve to know when it truly is.